Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ruth here. How you doing? This is part four, much to your chagrin. <laughs> Alright, we're going to add some pipes in here into our little Flappy Bird game. So let's do it. Now let's make sure that layer two is selected. You should see this layer toolbar up here. Make sure that's selected. If you don't see it, you know, you can always go here and check. Make sure your layer toolbar's oh, mine's not even turned on, but I still see it here. Okay, so just make sure layer two is selected. Okay, let's go get some pipes. We're gonna go down to the library. And now obviously I didn't tell you to open the game. You should know how to do that by now, right? File, open. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go down to the library. And you know, you're gonna go into your local library, go down to um, tutorials, and you're gonna get find the floppy uh, faulty bird one. Okay, we're going to use this pipe gate, this little green area. And what this is, is it's kind of like a marker to show us where the pipe's going to go. So let's bring that in, and we'll put that right kind of centered right in front of Flappy Bird. It looks good there. Let's kind of put it right up next to him. Um, then we're going to get a top pipe and a bottom pipe and put it on this. Okay, so let's go back down here. And you can see we've got pipe, top, active. Let's drag that out. And what you want to do is you want to just line that right up perfectly to the this gate, your pipe gate. And let's go back in and find the bottom piece. See, it says pipe, bottom, active. And again, line that up perfectly. And what we're going to do is we're gonna um, attach these, it's called pairing, we're gonna attach these pipes to this little um, pipe gate area. So whatever we do to this area, these pipes will follow. All right, next, uh, we've got that. Now, um, let's make two more sets of pipes. And you want to try to space them out as evenly as possible. Now remember to, to make copies. You're just going to hold the control key down. And by the way, I'm wondering, does, does, does this sound better? Um, I can't believe it. I've been recording for a month or two with this new Snowball uh, microphone. And I never went into the software I use and turned it on. <laughs> so this is the first time... I've actually properly used the snowball, so I hope it sounds better. All right, I'm going to hold the control key down, and I'm going to grab the gate, and I'm going to put one here, straight across, and I'll put the pipe straight across the top, and, oops, my fault, I forgot to hold the control key down, silly me, hold the control key down, and move a copy over. All right, keep the control key down, move a copy over, line it up nicely. Okay, hold the control key down, move that over, and I'm trying to space them nicely. Control and control. Okay, that looks fabulous. And we might have to move, like I said, later on we might have to move these a little, but this, these are fairly well spaced. Now what we're going to do is instead of making this huge long corridor uh, with hundreds of these, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna kind of cheat. We're gonna just have these <laughs> three sets of pipes, and we're gonna as they leave, we're gonna send them back in on the other side. So that's gonna save us some uh, uh, some uh, hazard. All right, now let's uh, go to our event editor. And now make sure you've only got one gate, one top, and one bottom. Okay, you can't have more than one of those. All right, so let's go to our event editor. This uh, funky thing, it looks like a giant tic-tac-toe. And we're gonna go to gameplay. Here's our gameplay right here. And we're gonna add a condition to it. And we're gonna say always. And what this part's gonna do, uh, click on the gears, always, is it's gonna um, attach the uh, top bottom top and bottom pipe 
to that little green uh, gateway area so it follows it around. All right, sorry. So let's come on over here to our um, pipe top active. Uh, where's our pipe top? This one is our pipe top. Let's all come down here, match to the always. And we will say position and we'll set the X coordinate position to the X coordinate of the uh, pipe gate. So here's our pipe gate, right? The little green area. Um, we'll click on that and we will say position X. And you can see in this one, we're just setting it, the X uh, position goes to the X position. Okay, so there it is right there. Set X position to X position of gateway. Now the Y position, let's do this again. And we're gonna set the Y coordinate. And we want this one to attach to the top of the pipe gate. So let's click on the top, the, the pipe gate, go down to position, and instead of just choosing the Y, we're going to come down here to the Y top. And you can see Y top pipe gate active. Cool. Okay, so now we've attached the top one. Now let's attach the bottom pipe to our gateway. So right click in here, same deal, position x to our gateway position x x to pipe gate active and then we're going to set the y position position y and we're going to set that to the bottom of the pipe gate so click on the pipe gate position bottom edge y coordinate and you can see it right there y bottom pipe gate okay so you can see those two and you can see those two very nice okay so they are now attached to each other in uh, programming uh, parlance we would say that this is the the pipes are children of the pipe gate and whatever the pipe gate does the children will do as well very nice. Now, why don't we make it so we make these things start moving? Because right now, if we play the game, you know, nothing moves but our little guy here. Because we haven't started them yet. So let's go into our gameplay event. Gameplay. New condition. And we're going to use that one we used before. Uh, right click on the gear. Limit conditions. And we're going to say only one action when event loops. And what we want to do is we want to crank up the pipe gate. So go on over to the pipe gate, that this green thing. Right click, movement, start. Very good. Now if we test it, watch what happens. Woohoo, we're moving. Okay, but sadly, the pipes went away. Well, how can we fix that? Uh, what we're gonna, this is called wrapping. We're going to tell it to wrap around the other end. So here's another gameplay event. There's our, this is our third one. So we're going to right click in here, and we're going to say, okay, pipe gate, when you leave the field on the left, uh, remember we did this in Chaco Break where we had the if the ball left the field on the bottom it did something. Well, we're going to go to position and we're going to test the position of the gate. And when it leaves, see how it's see the arrow leaving? We're going to click on that arrow leaving to the left. Okay, so it says when this leaves the play area on the left, we want it to wrap around to the other side. Okay, so let's go over to the pipe gate, 
and tell it to wrap. <laughs> yeah, that sounds funny. Uh, little Yachty would uh, laugh at that, wouldn't he? Okay, so we want it to wrap, and if we click on Movement and come down to Wrap Around Play Area, it should wrap around in a nice little loop. Let's test it out. Click on it, start the game, and it's wrapping. Okay, now notice how they're not really spaced out very well. That's our fault for not, that's my fault for not spacing these nicer. So if I want that to be a little better, I can go back to my frame and I can uh, space these out a little better. Uh, how would I do that? Well, I could try taking these and just moving them over a little bit seeing if that helped it be a little bit better okay let's play it again it's a little bit better um, another thing that we can do is we can change the uh, virtual width of the frame so if you, you click on the frame, and you remember we set this up the first day, virtual width. I have it set, um, I, I'm sorry, this was actually 480 before I was been playing with it. So you have yours set to 480. I could go in here and I could set it to 600 or 700. or And, and let's see what it does when I do that. And it's a little bit better. There's still a little odd bit of room. Um, so I could I could tweak this virtual number. Uh, maybe I want it to be 620. Let's see what happens if I do 620. And I can try to get this to really um, be spaced properly. And you can see it's close. So that's nifty. Okay, well that is uh, that is lesson four, and you know there's still more to go, um, but I will obviously I will be out uh, next week with my uh, knee operation, so we'll have to kind of put this on hold for a little while. Okay, well thanks for listening, and I hope your Flappy Bird game is going well. Bye bye now.